Enterprise Edina is brought to you by the Edina Chamber of Commerce. Hello, welcome to Enterprise Edina, a program where we connect you to businesses in our community. I'm your host, Lori Severson, and today we're at the new Braemar Golf Dome. You don't have to wait for Mother Nature to help you warm up your golf game. You can come right here to the dome where the weather is always perfect. Why don't you follow me? We're with Todd Anderson, General Manager of the Braemar Golf Courses. Thank you so much for joining us today, Todd. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for coming out, Lori. So golf has been part of the Edina history for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And our landscape has been dotted with a golf dome for, what, more than 30 years? Correct, yeah. The last few years, it's been a little barren. What happened here? Well, we had an electrical fire in February of 2012. Uh, the dome went down and it wasn't replaceable. So we've been in the process of uh, fabricating a new one in the last year and a half. OK, so after two years, we're ready to go. We have some golfers behind us. What are some of the differences in this new golf dome, dome compared to the golf dome of two years ago? Well, the footprint is the same, but the dome is brighter. It's now insulated. Uh, we've got a new deck that's uh, a big improvement on the old one that was wood and wobbly. Now it's concrete and steel. Really nice. Uh, we've got new mats, new balls, so it's a really brand new dome across the board. So talking about the, the upper deck, how many golfers can you accommodate? Okay. Uh, upstairs we can accommodate 20, downstairs about 22, and that, that stalls so people could share it and have two at a stall. So this has been described as the longest and largest golf dome in the, the Twin Cities, but there are two other golf? Yes, correct. Specific domes? Yes, but we're the biggest, uh, we're 270 feet wide, 230 feet long, and then 75 feet high, so it's a big facility. Todd, you also accommodate golfers of all different skill levels and abilities, is that correct? Yes, we've got group lessons for children starting as young as six up to 96 as far as adults. So for someone like myself, can't walk and chew gum at the same time, you've got something for me as well. We definitely do. Uh, group lessons are one great option for beginners and then also private lessons really any time of the week. Well, you know, the Chamber has a golf tournament every September. I've never participated, but I'd like to give it a try this next coming year. Do you think you have a golf pro here who's willing to uh, give we, me a few lessons? We do. Roger Ferencrug, uh, past Teacher of the Year in Minnesota, is here and he's waiting for you. Well, I'm anxious to give it a try. Let's go. I'm with Roger Ferencrug. He's one of the PGA pros here at the Braemar Golf Dome. Roger, thanks for joining us. You're going to give me a few tips so I can participate in the Chamber Golf Outing in September. Here, now it's snowing outside right now, but you are here all winter long to help anybody, even someone of my ability, correct? That's right, that's right. We are uh, uh, here year round, coaching people, helping them uh, get better at this game of golf. And I'd love to help you out and get you ready for that chamber tournament. Let's go, okay, I'm a beginner, so, so where do we start here? Well, we're gonna take care of the couple things that golfers have control over. We're gonna be able to control putting our hands on the golf club. And we're also going to be able to control getting into kind of an athletic ready position. You see those golfers on TV, they sure look like they're ready to do something. So I'd like you to put your hands on the club the way we talked about a little bit, on top of the shaft, very nice. And then go ahead and put your body into that ready position. So she's going to push her hips back and unlock her knees a little bit. That's going to kind of get her ready. Super, that looks great. Then we're just going to have a little weight shift. We're going to go back onto our right leg and shift through to our left leg and show off those nice shoes you've got on for the day, okay? <laughs> I'll get out of the way and let okay. you practice that a little bit. Okay. All right. So we got the golf ball going down range That's fairly straight start, there, Roger. didn't we? Right? Uh, right, right then direction. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna work on that a little bit and try to get that ball up in the air a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and have you get set again. And this time you're just gonna think about keeping your body a little tilted. Like in a yoga class where you'd want your spine and your head in a nice uh, aligned position. All right? Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and feel your weight shift. That away. So you're starting to see her finish with her weight on her forward leg and her weight shifting over to the target, that's what we want to see. 
And that's what the, the building block for all our students is, to start to get those golf balls in the air and have some fun. Then we'll work on if they're curving off to the side a little bit that way. I'm glad you're open all winter. I'm going to need the practice. I will see you over the next few months. Very good, very Thanks good. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it, Roger. Thank you, Lord. Todd, that was great. I'm ready to take on the tournament for this next coming year. Perfect. So give us an update. The hours here for the Golf Dome again? Are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Classes? Uh, we've got group classes for, and private lessons. For all there. ages, so everybody come on out. Most definitely. That's wonderful. Thanks so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for coming out. And thank you for joining yeah. us on Enterprise Edina. I hope you'll come back next month when we check in on Byerly's and their new construction project. Until then, enjoy Edina. <laughs>